Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. I absolutely love this airport. There are so many places to relax and spend time before your flights. But today, I want to take you to the Delta Sky Club, specifically the Delta Sky Club at the F and G gates. Now there are many ways you can get access to the Delta Sky Club. I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll let you know how I get access. Because I'm a diamond medallion with Delta, I use my choice benefits. Choice benefits allow me to select many, many things. And one thing that I opt for is membership at the Delta Sky Club. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of options at MSP Airport. I absolutely love the dining here. But one great thing about the Sky Club is that I'll be offered food and it comes at absolutely no cost to me. And the same is true for most of the drinks at the Sky Club. The Sky Club provides a very relaxing atmosphere from the hustle bustle of an airport. So let's skip the food court and head on over to the Sky Club. All right, about to go in. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. And then, thank you. All right, Peter, you're all set. G13 on time. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm visiting this Sky Club during the ongoing pandemic, so my first stop is at the Personal Items Sanitation Station, and that is immediately followed by a visit to the newly renovated restrooms to wash my hands. This restroom is a very elegant space. Soaps and lotions were recently replaced with Purell Healthy Soap, and I made sure that I used that before I grabbed anything to eat. Let's check out the main area. Local artwork adorns the walls, adding a very nice touch and making the atmosphere feel more homey. Unfortunately, this club has no outside views of airplanes. There are windows that flank a courtyard-like area, and some windows are partially frosted over, but they do provide natural light. I'm here for the complimentary food, so let's get right to it. Now, remember, this is a pandemic time visit, so the food choices here are not what they used to be prior to the pandemic, but as the pandemic continues and more people get immunized, I've noticed that the food options are increasing and there are more options that are not pre-packaged like they were at the start of the pandemic, but there are still many items that are in plastic. There's a current mix of self-service options and at certain areas of the club, food is served to you by the staff. The day that you visit is going to determine what choices will be available to you and there's no way to find out in advance so what you see is what you get when you arrive. Cuisine varies from around the world. There's a self-service drink area for beverages like water, soda and tea and the area is kept very clean. There are always attendants looking after this section. I like this soup dispensing device. The soup was hot and spicy and served in a cup. The coffee machine features all types of coffee and is 100% self-service. It's actually quite enjoyable to do it yourself. If you're looking for an alcoholic beverage, that will be served to you by someone behind the bar. What I like about this Sky Club is that Minneapolis is a hub airport, so there are often banks of arrivals which turn into departures. During those periods, the Sky Club can get crowded, but once all those departing flights leave, the Sky Club actually clears out. During the quieter periods, I like to sit in this section right near the buffet. There's very few people there, and there are plenty of power outlets right behind the seats. I'm really enjoying the lull in traffic here right now. Okay, that sandwich was not enough for me, so I had to go back to the buffet for more food. I do have a flight to catch later in the day, and even though my seat will be in the first class cabin, I won't be getting food as good as this during the ongoing pandemic, so I'm filling up here. I finished up my meal with the dessert of the day, donut holes. The entire buffet seating area is located on an elevated level within the club. Let's leave this area and see what else this Sky Club has to offer. This Sky Club is big and has ample seating. 
The seating areas feature seats of all different shapes, sizes, and styles, so you have an opportunity to decide which suits you best before you sit down. Since there were a lot of empty seats during the time of my visit, I made sure to try out many seats. One great thing about all the seats in this Sky Club is that they have power outlets. It's very easy to plug in your device while sitting. It seems like the outlets were almost part of the seats. I'm enjoying my time here at the Sky Club. There's a printer and a shredder at your disposal should you need one, and there are many individual workstations where you can plug in for power. These workstations are like small desks and offer privacy dividers for each seat. The Sky Club comes with complimentary Wi-Fi, which can only be accessed in the Sky Club. I decided that I wanted to use my laptop for a bit. Finding an empty workstation was quite easy, as they were all free. I was able to do what I needed to do on my computer, and I even got to charge my battery for a little bit before my flight. It's very easy to get work done around here. A walk across the Sky Club to the other side brings us to a small area which is used for sitting and is even more private than the main area which is directly in front of the buffet. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tour of the Sky Club here at Minneapolis Airport. I'm getting ready to head to my gate because I've got a flight to catch. I'll leave you with a few more views of the Sky Club just before I leave. I'm back in the mall here at MSP. Had a great experience in the Sky Club. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so that you get alerted as to every time I post a new video because I've got a lot more to cover.